Today I'm going to show you how I took this plain wood round and turned it into this beautiful galaxy background with a quote over the top of it. So what I did was take my unicorn spit and made this galaxy background and then I used some clear chalkboard paint to turn this into a chalkboard. So this is a really great tip that I saw Auntie Tay do on one of her Christmas videos and I had to try it for myself. So I added my design with chalk paste and my Icon Art stencil and then I can just wipe this off anytime I want and change out my design on here. So if you want to see how I made this Galaxy chalkboard, keep watching. So the first thing I do whenever I'm working with Unicorn Spit Gel Stain is get my piece of wood wet a little bit and that just helps me spread out the gel stain a little bit easier on wood. So I am going to speed up this part of the video just so that the video doesn't get crazy long, but I'm not cutting out any parts of it. So you will see exactly how I layered the colors and exactly how I blended them together. So the first color that I added was the Unicorn Spit Gel Stain in Midnight Blackness. And I just add that as a background almost across my whole board. And then I layered on Unicorn Spit Gel Stain in Purple Hill Majesty, which is a really pretty deep purple color. And the next color I'm adding is Unicorn Spit Gel Stain in Blue Thunder. And these colors are just really nice and deep and go really well together. And I don't really have any method to how or why or where I'm adding my colors, but I am layering them on the background from darkest to lightest. And this color that I'm adding now is a Unicorn Spit Gel Stain in Pixie Punk Pink, which is a really fun name and a really, really pretty color. I love this pink color. It just like really pops off of that background. I think it's just gorgeous. And the final color I'm adding is Zia Teal, which is a really popular Unicorn Spit color and adds a perfect amount of lightness to the galaxy background. And after I have all my colors added, I just kind of look at it to see if anything else is needed and add a few more pops of color. And then I'm going to add my stars. So I just take a dry paintbrush and dip it in the Zia Teal and use my finger to sort of splatter paint all over the background. And that gives a really nice star effect. You could also do this with white as well, which would look really nice. And that's pretty much it for the galaxy background. I'll just let that dry completely and then I'll be ready to convert it into a chalkboard. So now that my background is dry, I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum clear chalkboard paint and just paint it on my background. And it looks white in the can, but it does dry clear. And I ended up doing two coats. So I completely covered with the first coat, let it dry overnight, and then I added a second coat the next day. And I just wanted to be sure that if I would use water or something on this to wipe off my design that I'm going to be adding with my Icon Art stencil, that the galaxy background would be completely protected. So while we wait for that to dry, let's make our stencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is print my artwork. And we do have this design available on our website on our free artwork page if you want to also make something with this craft more worry less design. But anyways, I'm just printing, mirrored my image, selected my paper size, and then I choose my print presets. I will link my print settings below. I have a whole video that covers it in great detail. So then I just print, and I'm printing on our 11 by 17 printer film today because I'm going to be making a large stencil. I wanted it to cover as much of the wood round as possible. So I'm using our 12 by 18 stencil film. So I'll just print off my design and then I will be ready to make my stencil. <laughs> and like I said, I am making a 12 by 18 stencil today. So I used our extender rod to raise up the light and then I will just expose my stencil film for one minute and 40 seconds. And after that's done, I'll be ready to wash out. And if you want to speed up your washout a little bit, you can soak your stencil in warm water for 45 seconds to a minute before you wash it out, just to soften up that emulsion. And after that, I use a speedball frame to just support my stencil while I'm doing washouts. So I'm just going to use our trigger jet nozzle and continuously run the water over the stencil film until all of the mesh openings are 
clear. So when I hold it up to the light, I don't wanna see any purple emulsion in those mesh openings. And earlier when I was talking about print settings, it is because your print settings make a huge difference on your washout. So if your artwork is not dark enough, you're gonna have a lot of problems with washout. So I will link a video below that shows me washing out a 12 by 18 stencil in real time, not sped up at all. And it includes some tips on washing out your stencils and what to do if you're having problems. And after your stencil is completely washed out, you can just dry it. I'm using the dryer that we sell on the website. You can also just let it air dry or use a blow dryer on low heat. And after it is completely dry, you're going to post expose for another five minutes if you're using the extender bar with the light raised or a minimum of two minutes if you're using our regular height stand. And post exposure is very important to, for the durability of our stencil, so you definitely don't want to skip that step. All right, now we are ready to make our own chalk paste. So I am mixing Coco's Chalky Powder with Unicorn Spit and Zia Teal to make my own chalk paste. And I'm gonna use that with the stencil. And it is so easy to make your own with this Coco's Chalky Powder that we sell on our website. You just mix it with your paint in a one-to-one -one ratio. Usually we say to mix it with acrylic paint. This is my first time actually testing it with unicorn spit gel stain, but it worked really well. So you'll just wanna find the consistency that you like. And the reason I like using more of a paste when I'm stenciling with Icon Art stencils is because it just helps me get that crisp line every time. If your paint is too runny and you're having problems with bleed underneath your stencil lines, I highly recommend trying adding this powder to your paint to see if that helps you. All right, we're finally ready to add the design. So I'm just removing my stencil from the backer. This has been washed out, dried, and post-exposed. And I'm just positioning it where I want it to be. So that is one nice thing about Icon Art stencils. They are easily repositionable. After I have it where I want it, I'll just rub it down to make sure there are no air bubbles and then I am ready to add my chalk paste. So because this is a larger stencil and chalk paste does dry really quickly, I'm going to use a method where I add chalk paste in sections. So I'll just add a little bit to the top, squeegee it across, and then I'll lift up my stencil and then I'll repeat that process. This helps so that the chalk paste doesn't dry in the mesh before I lift it up. And again, I'm just going to speed up this process because I'm just repeating myself over and over again. So I just add a little bit of paste, lift up my stencil, add a little more paste, lift up my stencil. And I can kind of look if I missed any areas and add more if I want to and kind of work my way down. The other nice thing I like about making my own chalk paste is that I can make just enough for the project I'm working on so I don't have to have a bunch of containers of a bunch of different chalk paste colors laying around. I can just make as much as I need for this project and that's it. Or if I want to make extra and keep it in a container for longer use, I can do that as well. It does keep well. So now that I'm at the bottom, I'm just scraping off the extra, putting it back in the container, and I'm ready to reveal my design. So I just peel up my stencil, and I have a fun saying on a beautiful galaxy background, and I just love how this turned out. It turned out so pretty. I think in hindsight, I maybe would have mixed a little less powder in the paint to make it a little less thick, but it looks really nice, and if I would want to, I could always just wipe off the design and add it again since our stencils are reusable. So you just wipe off the paint and the unicorn spit mixed with the powder comes off really nicely. So you just, you know, I use a soft bristle brush to kind of help me along and get the paint off the stencil. And I'm just making sure that all of my mesh openings are unclogged. So if it's on a little bit of the outside of the stencil, that doesn't really matter. It really just matters if it is in the mesh openings. So after that, I'm just going to add my backer, just lay my stencil upside down and add the backer. Or we also sell release sheets if you don't want to use the clear backing, backer sheet. And then once the stencil is dry, it'll be completely reusable. So I could always wipe off the design and add a new design or add this design again later on. 
And that's pretty much all there is to it. Super easy.